guys, it's your boy, Barca Boy 103. Today we're gonna to be reacting to the Barcelona news over the past 24 hours. Firstly, Juan Laporta wants to sign a big number nine this summer. His two parties right now are Erling Holland and Dusan Vlahovic, with Erling Holland being the number one priority. It is gonna be a two-horse race between Barcelona and Real Madrid, and Juan Laporta is making moves. He has a meeting with Mino Raiola this week as well, and he's doing everything he can to sign Erling Holland. But for the now, Xavi wants Alvaro Morata to come in this January transfer window. The club are trying, but of course, Juventus have to find a replacement, and also Atletico Madrid have to approve the transfer as well. It's gonna be difficult, but it's still gonna be possible. We'll have to wait and see on that and also the club are looking at defensive reinforcements for this summer they're looking at Cesar Azpilicueta on a free transfer Andreas Christensen on a free transfer and also at Imeric Laporte as well and finally contract renewal updates on the two players right now who can walk for free in the summer Sergio Derberto and Usman Dembele but before we get into it make sure you guys smash that like button down below let's try to get the 200 likes in this video It'll be very much appreciated and also make sure you hit the subscribe button down below if you haven't already and let's get into it before we get into this video this video is sponsored by Manscaped it's new year and that means it's gonna have to be a new me and I have the help with the global leaders in males grooming a groom routine that I will try to do more often in 2022 is probably use this bad boy more often on my face and this year you can take your grooming to the next level with their new performance package 4.0 inside the performer package 4.0 you'll find their signature lawnmower 4.0 this electric trimmer is designed to trim the hair on loose skin the advanced skin safe technology reduces cuts and nicks all over it also comes equipped with a 4000k LED spotlight that will shine a light in the promised land 2022 looks to be. Cheers to 2020 and resolutions you can actually keep. How about you upgrade your grooming routine for the next year? Manscaped are here to make the ball drop into 2020 with our exclusive offer. Go to manscaped.com and use the code BARSABOY for 20% off plus free shipping. That's right, get 20% off and free shipping with the code BORSABOY at manscaped.com. It's a new year, new me in 2022 with Manscaped. Let's start off with the transfer news over the past 24 hours. The first player that we've been linked with, of course, is Erling Holland coming in from Mundo Deportivo. They've come out saying a meeting between Barcelona and Raiola in the early days of 2020, of course, this week is certain. Juan Laporta is expected to be part of that meeting on the agenda. They will be discussing regarding the possible incorporations of Erling Holland and as well as Mazuari the right back from Ajax of course on a free deal this summer. Juan Laporta is making moves here. Of course right now in the media everyone thinks that Real Madrid are the favorites for you know Erling Holland, but they're not talking with me Raiola, they're not scheduling meetings. Juan Laporta is making moves. Do not underestimate him. Now Erling Holland was doing his holidays, his Christmas holidays in Spain in Marbella and we got some important news. Diari AS came out saying that Erling Holland was asked about his future by some fans in Marbella where he was spending his vacation. He responded, I will play here in Spain. <sighs> day by day, it's looking like it's going to be a two horse race. Barcelona and Real Madrid and the only advantage that we have at the moment is that Real Madrid are going to be signing Kylian Mbappe on a free deal and he's going to be their star boy, the face of Real Madrid and Erling Haaland wants to be the face of the club where he goes, whether it's Man United, City, Chelsea, PSG, Bayern Munich, Juventus, Barcelona, Real Madrid, he wants to be the face of the club. If he goes to Real Madrid, that will not be the case. They have Mbappe, Benzema, Vinicius all ahead of him, 100%. That's the only advantage that we have and again, Juan Laporta is making moves and it looks like right now it's going to be a two horse race. It's going to be an intense few months again. Don't expect rumors that you know about his decision until you know mid to end of February I would say. That's when he has to tell Bruce Dorby whether or not he wants to leave or not the club this summer. But until then, it's gonna hear, you're going to hear a lot of stuff, of course. But don't count out Juan Laporta and Barcelona quite yet. We are making our moves. But of course, there is going to be a backup plan for Erling Haaland, and that is Dusan Vlahovic, also coming in from Mundo Portivo. They have come out saying that Dusan Vlahovic is Barcelona's plan B to Erling Haaland. Signing Haaland is Barcelona's dream, but the Serbian forward would be a more affordable target. Vlahovic wants to leave Fiorentina, and his salary is not that much either. So again, Vlahovic is the plan B for Barcelona as things stand right now. What's clear as day is that Juan Laporta wants to bring in a strong and star striker this summer. The question is, who will it be? Holland is the dream, but Vlahovic is going to be a good second option. Is there a third option right now? No, there isn't. That's not what we're hearing at the moment. It's either going to be Erling Holland or Vlahovic, but of course, Laporta's main priority, his main target is going to be Erling Holland. But the priority right now for the striker position is still 
Alvaro Morata and Xavi is really pushing for his signature. Firstly, coming in from having Miguel from AES, he came out saying that Morata is Xavi's number one target to become the center forward at Barcelona in his attack for the rest of the season. Morata has revealed that he is not happy at Juventus. Xavi promised Morata that he wants to keep him for more than six months loan. Ay, ay, ay. Talks are still in the event stages right now with the player and his agent, and Xavi values Morata's versatility, work ethic, and experience as well. Now, Jordan Romero came out saying the possible arrival of Alvaro Morata will not condition Barcelona's suit for Erling Haaland so again Morata is coming in as that Lou De Jong replacement he will be the backup striker for Erling Haaland if we do get him or do some Vlaovic whoever it may be and Alvaro Morata will be the backup striker so no worries about that Romano came out saying that Memphis Depay and Usman Dembele are currently not being discussed as part of the Alvaro Morata deal between Juventus and Barcelona Matthias Lid by the way also will not be leaving Juventus in January 100% he could leave though in the summer now we're hearing reports coming in saying that Barcelona want to sign Alvaro Morata on loan with a purchase option but it's going to be a very difficult operation now for me i have no problem bringing about Morata. the question for me is are we going to spend money right now that is a big no for me you want to bring him in on loan with the buy option no problem and that's what barcelona are planning to do when you're hearing that Chavi says, oh, I want to keep Alvaro Morata for more than six months, that's a bit concerning for me. But again, the plan for Barcelona initially is a six-month loan with a buy option. Romero Agresti from Goal Italia, who is the best source in Juventus, he's come out saying that Alvaro Morata's commitment to Barcelona is total. He has agreed a 18-month contract with Barcelona, but Juventus needs to find a replacement before agreeing to let Morata go. So apparently Barcelona have everything agreed with Alvaro Morata. The question now is a talk with Juventus and also, by the way, his parent club, Athletic. Madrid. Now, on Atletico Madrid, Gerardo Romero came out saying that Diego Simeone does not want Atletico Madrid to give Morata to Barcelona. The coach does not want to reinforce a direct rival in the league. Thank God. Thank God. But by the way, screw you, Simeone. We gave you David Villa and Luis Suarez to win you the league, and you won't even give us friggin' Alvaro Morata. But to be honest, I'm absolutely over the mood. So apparently Atletico Madrid do not want to facilitate this move. But again, Barcelona and Xavi and also Morata himself are pushing this deal. Mateo Morita from Sky Sports came out saying that Alvaro Morata wants to join Barcelona to play under Xavi. He knows that Juventus will not buy him permanently at the end of the season, which by the way has been confirmed now by Fabrizio Romano as well. There are two things missing. Firstly, an agreement between Barcelona and Atletico Madrid and Juventus signing a replacement as well. Juan Martin from Sport came out saying there are certain steps still to be taken, but there is optimism to close the Alvaro Morata deal. Morata himself and Barcelona are trying hard to reach an agreement. So again, it's Morata to Barcelona that are pushing for this deal and Juventus Atletico Madrid not too much in favor of it and lastly Romano came out saying that Barcelona have submitted their proposal to Alvaro Morata but Juventus have decided they 100% will not execute their buy option of 40 million euros to sign him this summer and this is why Morata is open to join Barcelona and Xavi is pushing for the transfer Juventus will not let Morata go this January if they can't find a new striker and right now there is no chance of a Memphis Depay Morata swap deal so what's riding on this deal right now is that Juventus find a new striker and then when they do so, they're going to push for the move Then it'll be all up to Atletico Madrid. Now what we're hearing right now, unfortunately, is that uh, Mauro Icardi, the PSG striker, is set to join Juventus on loan as that replacement for Alvaro Morata. It's coming in from Pedro Almeida from Portuguese outlets. He is fairly reliable most of the time, but again, he does get some stuff wrong. He's saying right now that Icardi 100% will join Juventus on loan with a buy option and Juventus will not be buying Morata this summer. That does open the door for Morata to join Barcelona, so we'll wait and see right now all we know. Morata wants to come to Barcelona. Barcelona are pushing. Juventus will not let him go until they find a replacement for him. So they don't really mind letting him go. They want to have that replacement in first though. Atletico Madrid do not want to give Morata to a direct rival in La Liga. We'll wait and see. Again, my standpoint, as long as it's a loan with a buy option, I'm okay. If we pay something for him right now, like a loan fee, we actually buy him right now. I'm going to be pissed. We'll wait and see. Again, as a Luke the Young replacement, Morata is better, no doubt about that. But for me, it's about the price. We'll wait and see. But as things stand, it's going to be a difficult operation to complete. Now, along with the attack, the club also want to reinforce the defense as well. And one of the players looking at right now is Cesar Espelacueta. First, they're coming in from Sport. They've come out saying that Barcelona have already agreed a pre-contract with Chelsea's captain Cesar Espelacueta for him to join the club as a free agent next season. It all depends on whether or not he renews his 
contract with Chelsea. Now also, Andreas Christensen, another Chelsea player who will be a free agent this summer, is on the radar as well. Sport came out saying that Barcelona have been in talks with Andreas Christensen surrounding for a week. They want to reach a pre-contract agreement very, very soon. The Danish defender can negotiate with any other club, of course, and Barcelona right now are in pole position. And reports coming in from England saying that Andreas Christensen's situation at Chelsea is getting complicated. Contract with no talks have stalled and the feeling around the play right now is that he's open for a new challenge and Barcelona hold a strong interest. So apparently right now Christensen very very similar situation to you know Roberto at Barcelona. He was gonna renew, everything was done and it collapsed last second and now he's looking to leave Chelsea this summer on a free transfer. Now Mundo Deportiva came out saying that Barcelona will meet with the agents of Andres Christensen and Cesar Espinacueta this week. So We'll wait and see. Again, these two deals will be in the summer for free. Would I take both these two players? Yes, I would. But for me, the priority would be Andres Christensen. Asper Cuenta is going to be a good veteran backup, uh, very uh, versatile player. He can play center back, right back, and left back. And of course, Christensen, one of the best center backs in the world, of course. He did very well for Denmark in the Euros and does very well for Chelsea as well. He is a starter, of course, alongside Thiago Silva and Tony Rudiger as well. So wait and see. If Barcelona can only sign one of them, though, I think they would go for Asper Cuenta. I hope it's for Christensen. We'll Wait and see though again if they renew with Chelsea, of course they won't stay. That's their both their priorities right now. But if they don't renew with Chelsea, Barcelona is in pole position. Now another center back in the Premier League that's from Spain that Barcelona are also interested in is Imeric Laporte. Mundo Deportivo came out saying that in England they link Imeric Laporte to Barcelona once again. Barcelona will be able to make big signs next summer and they want a left-footed center back as Amtiti and Longlet are on the market but however a deal for Laporte won't be easy. Gabriel Sanz from Deportivo came out said that Man City do not consider the sale of Americ Laporte although he has been linked with Barcelona by the English media. Laporte has become a star of the season and he still has three and a half years left on his contract. Now this deal is going to be very, very difficult to complete. He also came out saying that reports linking Laporte to Barcelona have resurfaced in England, but Man City don't plan to part ways with the player in the summer, and Barcelona are expected to sign a top-level player this summer with the recovery of some income and sponsorships as well. So Laporte is an option for Barcelona, but right now, Man City don't want to sell him. I think he'd be a fantastic center-back for the club. Of course, when he's at Athletic Bilbao as well, Athletic Club, as they're, as they're known now, he was with Barcelona a lot as well. But now, he's a starter for Man City. Of course, in the summer, we had our opportunity with him and Bernardo Silva. They both wanted to leave. They didn't end up leaving, and now they're both starters and pivotal players for Pep Guardiola at Man City. For me, I don't see this deal happening, but Again, if he's available in the summer, Barcelona will be interested. Let's now discuss the players who have been rumored to leave Barcelona over the past 24 hours. Firstly, is Luke de Jong coming in from sport. They've come out saying that Cadez have given Luke de Jong a deadline until January the 3rd to respond to their proposal. They trust that Luke de Jong will agree and Barcelona are also pursuing the player and his environment as it would help the club lighten the wage bill, of course. So Barcelona, Cadez, and his environment as well are pushing Luke de Jong to join Cadez. Des, Mateo Morita from Swag Sports came out back in that statement saying that Luke de Jong and his entourage continue to talk with Cadez. They have not discarded anything quite yet and Barcelona hope they can close the deal very, very soon. So again, the club are pushing Luke de Jong to the exit door. Also hearing reports about Fernand Bache and Besiktas Des in Turkey again. The club are doing everything they can to need the squad number, need the wage bill space as well, and the first team space as well. It looks like they're going to try to bring in Alvaro Morata to replace him. We'll wait and see, but right now the club are really trying to push out Luke de Jong. Another player who has options to leave Barcelona in January is the backup goalkeeper Neto. Sport came out saying that Flamengo have held talks with Neto. The goalkeeper would welcome a return to his native country, and Neto has reportedly asked Barcelona to leave in search for regular playing time. He will leave either in January or in the summer. Let's hope it's in January. Let him go now, get it over with, promote Inaki Pena, promote Arnal Tenez, I don't care. I think Neto leaving is going to be very, very important. Of course, right now at the club, he's earning around 100,000 euros a week, just being the backup. Let's hope he plays in the Super Cup in mid-January. Of course, last year he didn't play with it because, of course, he had some beef with Coleman, so Coleman played Ter Stegen. I kind of hope Chavis plays him just because, you know, show some respect for the backup goalkeeper. And also, we're paying him 100k a week. Might as well let him play. So we'll wait and see. Neto does have options to leave the club. The question is, will he do it now or in the summer? But the main Brazilian at Barcelona that the club are trying to desperately get rid of is Felipe Coutinho. Now we're hearing reports coming in from the UK from the Daily Mail saying that Tottenham Hotspur are ready to offer 20 million euros for Felipe Coutinho. They will face competition from Arsenal and Everton as well, who are also interested in the Brazilian. With his departure, Barcelona will be able to considerably reduce their wage bill. Of course, Coutinho earning a report around 500,000 euros a week 
I'm getting optimistic now about Coutinho leaving. Of course, we're hearing reports coming in from Catalonia, from Barcelona, saying that, look, his agent is looking for a way out in January. And we're hearing reports coming from England saying that Tottenham Hotspur, Arsenal, and Everton are all interested. But for me, it's... I'd rather get rid of I'd get rid of Coutinho no matter what. I don't really care about the transfer fee. For me, the wage is the most important thing. Of course, Coutinho rejected the letter of freedom, did not want to reduce his wages at the club. So I'm not quite sure if even Tottenham offered 20 million euros he would leave or not because he wants to get paid the same amount, 500k a week. Even if we let him go, we only pay half of it on a loan or something like that. I would do that 100%. I wouldn't even think twice about it. Paying 250k a week for him is better than paying 500k a week for him. Let's hope the club can get rid of him. Again, if we get rid of him, it'll be the biggest achievement this window. We'll wait and see. But right now, the club and Felipe Coutinho are optimistic about his exit. Let's now discuss some contract renewal updates around the first team at Barcelona. Firstly, the contract renewal of this... Usman Dembele. Firstly, coming in from Cat Radio, they've come out saying that Juan Laporta is not in favor of sending Usman Dembele to the stands even if he decides not to renew his contract. Laporta, do not piss me the f off. If you do not freeze his blood claw out this this window, this instant, I'm gonna be pissed. I do not want to see him representing this club ever again unless we have some massive injury crisis. We have a Champions League final tomorrow and he's our only winger. I'd play him other than that i would i would make him watch i would make him watch the game at home get paid and not participate and hinder his chance to be in the world cup this year of course in november now juan Marti also came out saying that chavi feels cheated by uzman dembele on december the 20th there was a meeting between dembele and all the coaches dembele was told that he'll be a fundamental piece of the sporting project and he told the coaching staff that he wants to continue everyone at that point was convinced that he'll renew his contract fernando porto from window portivo came out saying that dembele's agents demanded an amount that could go beyond 80 million euros in his first year this included the annual salary renewal premium of course the bonus and certain variables depending on the number of games he played and trophies won and barcelona were very disappointed with this and Javi Miguel came out back in the same from juan marti saying that barcelona will have one final meeting with usman dembele tomorrow if there is no agreement the club will try to offload him in january chavi feels that the player lied to him the manager let the club the Frenchman would renew. So tomorrow is the last meeting for Ousmane Dembele. He either walk out of there with a new contract or with Barcelona placing him on the market, desperate to sell him in this window. Now, of course, Chavis in the press conference yesterday. We're still, you know, negotiating. It's not completely collapsed right now. There is going to be some more meetings, and we do still hope that Dembele does renew his contract. If he's asking for 80 million euros in his first, you know, right now, then f no, he's not renewing his contract. But We'll wait and see. Of course, we're Optimism FC. You never know, but I highly doubt this. I just I just hope that if he says no, Juan Laporta puts his foot firm, his head held high, frees his out of the club, push him out, letter of freedom. I don't care. I do not want to see him in a Barcelona shirt again if he does not renew his contract. We'll wait and see. Big meeting tomorrow. Of course, also tomorrow is going to be Ferran Torres' presentation. I believe the meeting will happen after that for sure. Again, deadline day. D-Day for Usman Dembele tomorrow, either renews his contract or he will leave the club. The next and final contract renewal update is on the contract renewal of Sergi Roberto. He's in a very similar situation with Usman Dembele, but of course, he's the fourth captain. He's Spanish. He's from La Masia, so it's a bit different. And Gabriel Sanz from Deportivo came out saying that Sergi Roberto's next contract renewal meeting with Barcelona has no date yet. It could be delayed until at least the second week of January, but right now, Roberto is in favor of reaching an agreement with Barcelona to renew his contract with a reduced rage. Roberto's proposal is lower to the salary he receives this season with the same percent equal to that of the remaining captains. But the proposal from the club for his renewal is for the salary reduction to be that of the squad average until 2023-2024. So apparently, Roberto is in favor of reducing his contract for this season by, you know, 60%, but he wants all that money back afterwards. The club don't want to give that. The club wanted to renew his contract with no extra money. Of course, the other captains, PK, Busquets, Jordi Alba, were promised money in the, you know, the hereafter in the, you know, the next few years. Roberto wants that same thing, but the club apparently said no as of right now. So wait and see. I think he will renew his contract. Of course, right now he can talk to any other club in the world legally for free and leave in the summer for free. No, he can't talk. He can't talk to Spanish clubs though, which 
seems stupid, but whatever. He's not going to go to, you know, Real Madrid, Getafe, Sevilla, you never, I mean, you never know. But anyways, he can't talk to any clubs in Spain. He can talk to any other club he wants to in the world freely and legally and leave in the summer for free. We'll wait and see, but I have a prediction. If his contract renewal is not done by the end of January, I think he will leave for free. Of course, right now, he's injured, so he has nothing to worry about. All he can really do right now is focus on this renewal. We'll wait and see how it goes, but the club right now and Roberto both want to come to an agreement over a contract renewal. And the final topic that I want to discuss before I end off this video is that Barcelona are still searching for a new shirt sponsor for next season to increase the club's income coming in from Candacere. Dave came out saying that Barcelona valued two offers from companies in the world of technology to be the new shirt sponsor. The cryptocurrency sector is also interested, but it does not generate consensus in the club and the offer from the Arab Investment Fund is ruled out. So Barcelona are still looking. They want the best money and the best deal possible. We'll wait and see. Of course, I think it has to be, you know, agreed very, very soon because Nike needs to start making the shirts for next season right now with the sponsor as well. We could maybe do one more year with Rakuten and get the actual sponsor for next year. That could be an option as well. But the club want a new sponsor now. They want that new, that one, that moolah, that new cash right now to sign new players in the summer. We'll wait and see. But again, there's another thing that Juan Laporta has to worry about and has to come to an agreement very, very soon as well. So that was my reaction to the Barcelona news over the past 24 hours. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like. And of course, leave me your thoughts down below in the comments on everything we discussed. The main thing I want to know first about Alvaro Morata, if it's a simple loan just to come in with a buy option and also to replace Luke de Jong, would you accept that deal or not? Secondly, on Roberto and Dembele's renewal, do you think both these players will renew? One of these players will renew or neither? And lastly, about Erling Haaland, do you think Barcelona have a chance for him coming this summer? And of course, make sure you guys subscribe down below if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys next time on the channel. Take care and Forza Barca.